Hello again, my name is Sandra Sinamafani. Let's do more business. Now, the planned cleanup of the microfinance a savings and loan and loans actually was supposed to take place today, but the Bank of Ghana is denying that, and Judge Rafi has more in this report. According to sources close to the Bank of Ghana, even though the action would eventually happen, it is not today. The regulator is also distancing itself from a list, making rounds on social media that they are the ones that would be affected. The source noted that looking at the way things are happening, the planned action may not even happen this week. In a related development, the Association of Savings and Loans Companies is assuring depositors that their funds are safe despite the planned cleanup of the sector by the central bank. Chinebo Akodia Boachi is the executive secretary of the Association of Savings and Loans Company. There are a lot of information going on there that are not uh, supposed to be. They are not a reality. And um, there are a lot of media houses throwing some figures around and then saying Bank of Ghana is coming tomorrow, he's coming the following day. This has not been very helpful. And so institutions, um, those who were even very strong are suffering from panic withdrawals. Mm -hmm. Customers are also not paying their loans because they think that uh, very soon Bank of Ghana will be descending into the sector. Um, over the period, these comments have um, not helped matters. Mm -hmm. What we were expecting was that all the action that needed to be taken should have been taken uh, without even telling the public that we are coming tomorrow or the following month or it doesn't, it is not going beyond a certain period. Mm. Um, it is our expectation that um, the regulator will come up soon uh, before even those who are in good standing begin to mm. suffer. Mm. He also tells Joy Business they want the action to be fast-tracked because the delays are not helping the industry. One thing that we are sure of is that the planned cleanup would definitely happen before September this year. This has been confirmed by Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, and Finance Minister Ken Ofriata. All right, so the new acting managing director of the Ghana Stock Exchange, Echo Afedi, is promising to introduce new measures to market the best, uh, make it a preferred place for rising capital. Mr. Afedi was recently appointed as acting managing director of the exchange. This follows the retirement of Kofi Iamwa. Speaking exclusively to Joy Business, Mr. Afedi said he would be reviewing listing requirements to help bring more firms on board. Stock markets all over the world uh, do uh, play a major role in any economy. Um, it's going to take some time for people to understand uh, the benefits of buying and selling of equities. And that is why our focus for education will begin from maybe tertiary or high school level, which we used to do before, and make sure that the youth begin to inculcate uh, the culture of investment right from the beginning. People need to learn how to save money mm. in order to invest. Without investment, you have no future. And we're going to concentrate a lot on that going into the future, as well as those who become entrepreneurs, understanding the fact that it's better to use long-term capital to develop your companies mm. than to use short-term capital for long-term projects. And that is why most Kenyan companies fall into trouble. Mm. They take two-year loan, go and build a factory. The factory does start giving you good uh, returns uh, maybe in five, six years' time. And meanwhile, you have to service the loan within a year or two. Yeah. Then they're locked up. Mm. That's why we don't have so many large companies in Ghana. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that we can get Ghanaian entrepreneurs to grow their businesses and become large and employ more people. Mm. But, but again, we, we look at the market and then some people will see that we don't see a lot of excitement in terms of trading and, you know, and all the rest. In other economies, yeah, the markets are big. The markets, they are a reflection of the economy. The same cannot be said with the Ghana Stock Exchange. What, how are you going to deal with the perceived inactivity or boring on the market that people have not naturally gravitated towards this market? We're going to make it exciting. Um, one is to make sure that uh, whatever we do 
is publicized mm. all over, whether using the print media or using electronic media or using social media. Uh, this is, most people don't see uh, the results of the, um, the, the trading in the newspapers and uh, sometimes in um, electronic. We're going to make sure that comes every day. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure we use various um, um, media houses to educate people almost every week. Have some analysis of the market by, not myself, by um, brokers, by investment analysts. What I'm trying to say is that we need to keep ourselves constantly in the news about the role the market can play, the avenues open for investment by um, the, the, uh, investment for uh, potential investors out there, and also entrepreneurs. Mm. So that is one thing that we're going to make sure we do to create some excitement. Mm. Markets go up and down, and people need to understand that you don't go to get markets rising up all the time. Mm. Um, the best way to invest are here, and uh, for those who have been practicing is to buy when markets are down mm. low. And so when they're going up, mm. and that's how some people make money. Mm. But at the same time, for those who don't like equity, we provided the bond market, mm. what we call the debt market, where when you buy treasury bonds or you buy government bonds or you buy corporate bonds, you don't need to wait for the maturity. If you want to redeem and have your cash before maturity. That sell them, yeah. Yes, you can sell them to a bank dealer or you go to a broker and so on. That is why we are opening up the market for all kinds of investments. That's what I was talking about being the preferred destination for investments. Mm -hmm. That is what we want to achieve. You talked about the debt market as well. I mean, is it a strategy to position it as the place for companies to also raise money than doing You are very normal. right. The many Ghanaians who have not developed the culture of sharing, where if I ask them to do equity, they don't want to do it because mm. equity are going to get other shareholders in yeah. there. You've got to be more transparent, you've got to be more accountable. So what we're saying is that there's another avenue. But you still need to be transparent. You still need to disclose a lot of information. But this time, you won't have shareholders. So the commodity market now includes oil traded at $59.60 a barrel. Gold sold for $1,472.38. And now details of trading activities on the commodity market is next. Time this is me. Check more news on our website, myjournal.com forward slash business. My name is